This is a video for wiring a MKS S-Base 1.3 board to a K40 power pack um, and obviously your laser. So obviously you've got XY for your stepper motors and then obviously you won't be able to use the optical limiter switcher so you will have to change them if you want to. If you look at the side of your top gantry um, you will see that your motor plugs into a little board and then obviously off that little board comes the ribbon and then goes into your stock board. You can just remove the motor off that and then extend the wires if you wash or change the motor out whichever you want to do and just plug it directly into here. Your other one will just automatically plug in there. So red, blue, so top red, top blue is for your limiter switches. You will require a SD card. Now this is 64 gig, you can do it with lower as well. Um, and the firmware on it is 1.1F. I am going to do another video after this on how to configure this board once you have it all installed, um, which you will require T2 laser. It's free to download, uh, to use for 15 minutes and it closes. But we're only going to need five. <clears throat> Once you've installed this board, it will work with Lightburn, T2 Laser, Laser GOBL, and obviously various other ones, um, depending on what you want to use. So, the first two wires, so which is the 12 volt to 24 volt, on your power pack, you will have obviously four wires coming out directly to your board. So, you don't need the first two. So you disconnect the first two, you're only going to need the second uh, set of two. Now, the top one will go to this side, and the blue one, oh, yep, <laughs> sorry, blue one goes to the bottom, brown one goes to the top, and obviously it's in reverse if you just move these wires so you can actually see. Obviously it's in reverse on there. Now, your next one down, miss your green and yellow, and then you will have purple and black. Now the purple and black, you need to leave together because they're already together. You will need to put another wire in, and your wire will be, on. if you look at your board, it will say fan minus. So fan minus, need to make a cable, take this out and fit in with this one. You can either open this up slightly, push your wire in, tape it together, however you want to do it, or just literally slot it in and tighten it back down. So that one goes to there. The next one down, you will have a purple wire, which is this one I've capped off, and this will go into there. Now you need to remove this. This is your test fire button. It won't work with this plugged in as well. Um, the board won't be able to fire, but you'll still be able to test fire. So if you want to have a test fire button still, you're going to have to add a switch in. So a wire coming out to a switch to your purple, and then you can use the test fire button. Just remember to flick the switch over. So when you're not test firing, you flick it off and then your board will work. So where this purple one came out, you need to put another cable in and it goes to this one, which is hot end minus. So you've got your first two and you've got your black and purple and you need to add a wire in, which goes to your fan minus. And then you need to take out the purple and put a wire in to your minus hotbed. This only works with the 1.1 S, uh, 1.1, 1.3, sorry, we'll get it right. Obviously it has it there, and you can see. It's a maker base board. Dead simple, couple of minutes work, and away you go. If you obviously don't like it, want to go back to the stock board, just do everything in reverse. Obviously, check these out, put your other ones back in, 
and so on with the rest. It's that simple. Um, if you follow me on the next video, I'll show you how to configure this once you've all set it all the way up and how to basically you, you put your firmware on and then if you're trying to do a circle it won't work it'll do a oval and same with a square it'll do an oblong we'll just go into t2 modify the settings save that it'll write it back to the sd card then you'll be set and ready to go that'll only take about five minutes too not even that you just need a tape measure or some way of measuring um for when we do a burn and then you're pretty much set other than that you can change to different boards if you wish um cheapest board i have found which is this and it cost me 20 pounds uk pounds um you can buy them off amazon if you want them like immediately for 75 um aliexpress they're 20 pounds from uh makerbase so literally not a lot you don't require anything else other than four wires and an SD card. And on to the next video for configuring and we'll take a few minutes.